Okay, here's question six from November 2017. Here are my formulas, and remember that um, I can't do the fractions, so I'm going to do divide. The decomposition of hydrogen peroxide in the presence of a catalyst at standard pressure and room temperature is given by the unbalanced equation below. Now, before we go any further, this means we can't use STP in any gas calculations on the um, you know on the data sheet they've got STP the moment they said room temperature we're sitting with a problem we need to be alert now okay so here is hydrogen peroxide it is decomposing to water and to oxygen the oxygen gas is collected and the volume is recorded over a period of time the reaction is completed at time t the results are plotted on on a graph of volume of oxygen versus time as shown below okay if we look at this graph it starts at zero because at the beginning there's no oxygen. There can be no product at the beginning of a reaction. So it starts at zero and then the oxygen concentration rapidly, rapidly rises and then it starts slowing down and eventually it flattens out. And when no more oxygen is being produced, this means the reaction is run to completion. So at this point, this is the maximum amount of oxygen that can be produced, which is saying to use 600 cubic centimeters. So it says to you, take the molar gas volume as 24,45 at room temperature and standard pressure. Okay, so this is fine. We're not going to have to use PV equals NRT to solve this. So let's have a look here. Balance the equation. Hydrogen peroxide goes to water and oxygen. We've got far too many oxygens on the right. Look, one, two, three oxygens on the right. So let's make more oxygens on the left to balance them. Let's have a look and see what happens if we do this. Now I've got four oxygens on the right, on the left, sorry, four oxygens on the left, but only three on the right. How can I bring this up? Now if I put a two over here, now let's have a look now. One, two, three, four oxygens, two times two is four, four hydrogens, four hydrogens. My equation is now balanced. Then it says to you, how would a catalyst affect the reaction? Now we've talked about catalysts before. This reaction is actually catalyzed by manganese dioxide. But the answer that they gave in the memo is the catalyst lowers the activation energy of the reaction. This is true, but um, there's normally they put there that a catalyst speeds up the reaction rate while itself is unaltered. So usually uh, the words the catalyst speeds up the reaction is, is somewhere in here, but this is what the memo gave, so this is what the memo gave. Okay, use the information on the graph to calculate the mass of hydrogen peroxide that decomposed. So in order to do this, we actually say to ourselves, what do we actually know? And the only thing that we actually are given here, we have to read off the graph. If you look on this graph, they've given you the volume of oxygen, when this experiment runs to completion. So this reaction here produced 600 cubic centimeters of oxygen. So what we're allowed to do is now work out what is the moles of oxygen produced, okay? So we're going to use this one, N equals V over Vm. But because this occurred at room temperature, okay, we have to use this Vm. So we're going to go and do this. We're going to calculate the number of moles of hydrogen peroxide. No, we're not. We're calculating the number of moles of oxygen, sorry, because that's the only one we've got information for. So this is equal to V over Vm. Okay, remember you must write it as a, as a, a fraction and I just can't here. So V is 600, so in cubic decimeters that's going to be 0, 0,6 divided by Vm that they gave you in the question because it's at room temperature is 24,45. So now we know that the number of moles of oxygen is going to be calculator, calculator 0 0.6 times 24,45 0.6 divided by 24.45. Yes, I nearly put the wrong answer in there. I've got something that looks like 0, 0,0245. 
Okay, I'm leaving this with the three significant figures because I don't have, it's not my final answer. Now we need to use the mole ratio. Okay, we're going to use the mole ratio of the uh, oxygen. Oxygen to the hydrogen peroxide. Okay, because we want to find out about hydrogen peroxide. So the mole ratio from the balanced equation of oxygen to hydrogen peroxide is one oxygen to two hydrogen peroxides. Okay, so let's have a look here. We had 0,0245 moles of this. So this is going to be double that, 0, 0,0245 times times two and what is that going to be? 0, 0,049 moles of hydrogen peroxide. Okay. So then if we go back here, this is the number of moles of hydrogen peroxide. It says to you, find the mass of hydrogen peroxide. This means we're gonna need the relative molecular mass of hydrogen peroxide because we're gonna use that um, N equals M over M or M equals NM. So the mass of hydrogen peroxide is gonna be two plus 16 plus 16, uh, 34 I do believe. So now the, uh, what does it say to you? Calculate the mass of hydrogen peroxide that decomposed. So now we're going to use the mass, the mass of hydrogen peroxide. We should set this out as neatly as possible. The mass of hydrogen peroxide is going to be equal to N capital M. So the mass of hydrogen peroxide is equal to 0, 0,049 multiplied by the relative molecular mass, which is 34. So the mass of hydrogen peroxide is going to be, if I whip out my calculator, I have here 1,67 grams, 1,67 grams. And we shouldn't say mass of water, we should say the mass of hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so there's our final answer over here as well. Then let's go have a look here at the second half of this question. You see this question is also using a graph here. This question says, in an experiment a learner adds 500 cubic centimeters of hydrochloric acid with a concentration of 0, 0.36 moles per cubic decimeter to 1,2 grams of magnesium in a test tube. She records the change in mass of the magnesium as the reaction proceeds at regular intervals. The balanced chemical equation for the reaction is magnesium plus hydrochloric acid goes to magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. This reaction is balanced, I checked. The change in the mass of magnesium during the reaction is shown on the graph. So here's my initial mass, 1,2 grams, and then as it's eaten away by the acid, it goes all the way down to zero. Okay, so if it goes all the way down to zero, it's all used up. Identify the limiting reagent in this reaction. Give a reason for your answer. So I'm pretty sure the limiting reagent here has to be magnesium because it is all used up in the reaction because at three minutes, there are no, uh, there is no magnesium left mass equals zero that's what i would say is the answer for this it's got to be the magnesium because the graph has gone to zero now it says to you calculate the number of moles of unreacted hydrochloric acid in the test tube after three minutes okay so what is controlling this reaction we've decided it's the magnesium ribbon so if we know what's controlling the reaction the most important thing to do is find the number of moles. So the number of moles of magnesium, how did they tell us about magnesium? They told us a mass. So we're going to use N equals M over M. So the number of moles of magnesium is going to be the mass. What was the mass? 
see we can read it off the graph as well, 1.2 over the relative molecular mass of magnesium. Look on your periodic table, which I'm sure you have right next to you. Magnesium, 24. Okay, so the number of moles of magnesium is going to be calculator, calculator 0 0,05 moles. Okay, so calculate, the question asks you to find the unreacted hydrochloric acid. So in order to find the unreacted hydrochloric acid, we actually have to find the initial moles of HCl. Okay, so we're going to say the number of moles of HCl is equal to, we have a concentration, so we're going to use CV, okay, so let's make these line up if we can, so the number of moles of HCl that we started with is going to be the concentration, the concentration 0 0.36 times by uh, 500 cubic centimeters, which is comma five liters. So what is the number of moles of HCl if you put it in your calculator? Uh, that must be 0 0.18, I do believe. Okay, so there's 0 0.18 moles of hydrochloric acid initially. So now if we want to find out how many, they rea how many reacted, we know that magnesium is the limiting reagent. So what we're going to do is look at the mole ratio, okay? So the mole ratio of magnesium to hydrochloric acid is one mole of magnesium to two moles of hydrochloric acid. And the magnesium is limiting, okay? Let me write this here so you don't forget. Magnesium is limiting so what we're going to do is if there's one 0 0.05 moles of magnesium and the ratio is one is to two, we're going to, goodness, that was not a multiplication sign. We're gonna multiply this by two and we're gonna get 0 0.1 moles, okay? So this is how much can have reacted. This is how much we put in. So the unreacted, okay, the unreacted HCl is going to be the initial minus whatever was left, uh, minus whatever reacted, sorry. So my initial moles of HCl was 0 0.18, look over here, it's my initial moles of HCl, and using the molar ratio and the limiting reagent, we have 0 0.1 moles here, which is going to give me 0 0.08 moles unreacted. And I do believe that's your final answer.